Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on opening the Bootstrap model and display the form to create and edit a user. Now, in this lecture, we will be working on handling the turbo stream request for create action. We will also append a row in the user table using turbo stream as soon as the model form submitted. Okay, so let's start with this. First, open the user's controller and switch to the create action. So, first open the project in your preferred text editor and open the users controller okay so in users controller you can see that uh, here is the create action and now when you submit the form you can see that there are only two format handle that is json and the html now we need to add or we need to handle the turbo stream format here as well okay so after the at the rate user dot save at line number 28 what you need to do format dot turbo stream The format of turbo stream and then we need to render the templates here okay so what we can do here render and then turbo stream then turbo stream dot append dot append Okay, by the way, I just wanted to let you know that Turbo Stream support seven actions like append, prepend, replace, remove, after, before, and all that. Okay, so what we need to do here, Turbo Stream dot append, and then here we need to add a DOM ID where we want to append the newly created user. So user uh, DOM ID we can provide, let's say user list, and after this user list we need to render the partial that while appending this record or what partial we want to render as a append so we can do like uh, partial and then the name of the partial that is users and user okay you know we have a user partial which is the row in the table okay so now again come to the users controller and into that users controller after mentioning the partial what we need to mention is the next thing we need to mention the local so local variable should be let's say locals and then user colon at the rate user okay sorry just to remove this not and at the rate user here and now here you can see that what we did turbo stream dot append user list okay but we do not have this user list id into our dom element anywhere okay in our application so what we need to do here we need to open the index.html.erb and to the table body we need to provide this id so tbody id equal to user list it means that when our user controller receives the request for creating a user as turbo stream first this will find the dom element with id user list and then append the partial for user data in this element okay so we already added the user list to the index table and we also have the user partial already we created this partial into the first lecture now it's time to test our create action by submitting a new user form so switch to the browser and refresh the page first save the index template of users and then switch to the browser refresh the page and open the new user model okay and now we, you need to provide the information in this form so you can provide let's say michael clark email you can take it like uh, tested at the rate gmail.com and here you need to provide state as let's say Kins. okay whatever will you want to provide you can provide okay right now this is not uh, validated okay so pins and now click on the create user but before that make some space on the terminal where the server is running and you can see that the new request has arrived as or received as the turbo stream format and now uh, switch to the browser again and click on the create user button you can see that after creating the user model is disappeared okay and the row has been appended to the users table and this is what we want to do and into the terminal you can see that request to the users controller create action is coming as turbo stream okay and it just inserted the data into the table and you can see that what it rendered so it rendered users user.html.erb okay and served by the user controllers create action now switch to the browser again and that's how you can handle the turbo stream request but we just uh, test this for creating a user successfully we also need to check what happened if user not successfully okay so first let's add some basic validation to the user model so switch to the project again and open the user model and into this user model we can add some basic validation like let's say validates 
then name sorry city state country and contact number and it must be presence true and for email we need to add two validation like let's say validates email presence true and uniqueness true as well okay save this and now again switch to the users controllers create action okay because we need to handle the failed request as well using the turbo stream so switch to the users controller go to the rails controllers and users controller here and here you can see just like we handle the format dot turbo stream we just need to do the same thing into the format dot html as well so you can just copy this line but uh, we just need to make slight changes here so first add format dot turbo stream and then render turbo stream turbo stream dot replace okay here i am not using append i just want to replace the existing open model with the new model which has the validation error in it okay so turbo stream dot replace and then provide your model id that is remote model we added in the last lecture so remote model here and then partial will be users form model okay form model and local will be the same okay and then switch to the browser again and refresh the page so when you switch to the browser refresh the page and now open click on the new user again and when you submit the create user request now you can see that model is again open with the validations error okay so now our create action is working fine and we handled the turbo stream request for both if user saved successfully and if user not saved successfully okay and doing this thing with uh, ajax and using jquery will take a lot of stuff to do but it is very simpler and very uh, lay with very less code using turbo and stimulus okay so now switch to the browser again and submit this form as valid so just take michael clark and let's say test at the gmail.com and submit this form again you will see an error that email has already been taken now again submit the valid form let's say gmail remove the gmail and add york mail and now submit this form you will see that user has been created successfully and an entry for this user is appended to the users table or users index okay and that's all for this lecture in the next lecture we will open the user edit form in the bootstrap model and handle the update request in turbo stream format meanwhile try this lecture at your end and if you have any doubt or thoughts kindly let me know through the comment section stay tuned and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe